Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a really quick video on the envelope system. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this. It's something that I use personally in my own life and I have for probably a year and a half and it helps me with budgeting and using my cash and all of that good stuff. Um, I just pulled out a bunch of cash with my boyfriend and we just did all of our envelopes so I thought I'd share it with you really, really quickly. So here we go. Okay, as I've said in other videos before, um, first of all, cash is king. Always use cash when you can. And second of all, um, these are our envelopes that we use for all of our different budgeting needs. And I apologize for the envelopes. They are pretty gross, most of them, because we have been using them for like a year and a half and we've just never got new ones, so they're pretty gross. But um, anyway, so what we do is to start out just a really quick recap is we see how much we make in one month and then what we do is we deduct everything as far as like gas groceries bills like all that stuff um from that total and then we use the extra cash to do whatever we want to do whether it be pay off any of our like extra pay off debts or if we're saving for a trip or if we're saving for an item or anything like that um, and then anything that we pay online we keep in our bank account but everything else we take out in cash and that's what we have our envelopes for so it's a super, super simple uh, prospect. So first one we have here is gas money. Um, Emmett has like 20 bucks in here. Mine's in my wallet because I'm going to go get some like really, really soon. But this is our gas envelope. So I usually budget $40 a month. I drive a Fiat, so it doesn't take that much gas. And I don't drive very far for work or anything. And then Emmett, same thing. He has a pretty good gas car. He drives like a BMW. And he, um, he spends, I think, usually $60 or $80 a month because... He does have to drive up a hill every day, and for some reason it takes a lot of gas. Um, the second envelope I have here is actually Emmett's own personal envelope. This is his haircut, car wash, and dry clean envelope. So he gets his haircut probably every two to three weeks. He does dry cleaning probably once a week, and then he sometimes budgets to get a car wash. We're pretty good about washing our own cars when, like, in the summertime when we want to wash them a lot, um, but otherwise, you know, we have like the little Chevron ones that are like $7 up to or one that we really like down the street that's like a $25 car wash that we'll do like maybe every other month. But he has about $80 in that for that budget for the next two weeks, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. The next one we have here is social restaurants. So we keep this separate from our grocery money. Um, I actually don't contribute to this at all because... I never feel like we absolutely have to go out every week, but this is Emmett's little personal vendetta that he really likes to take me out and we really like to go do things. So he always puts money in this envelope and he usually does between $100 and $200. This one he has $160 in, which is awesome. So we're probably going to go to lunch tomorrow and possibly dinner next week. Next one, the most important one of them all in my opinion, which is our grocery envelope. Look how nasty that thing is. We used to... Um, we used to write down how much we would put in there every month, but we definitely don't do that anymore. We just kind of, um, we have like a spreadsheet that we share online and that's what we use. But I already had $40 left over in there from the last time I put in there. And I think Emmett put in like 160 So we have about $200 for the next two weeks for groceries, which is plenty of money. I usually do about 100 bucks a week, so that's fantastic. And then any change left over, we just throw it in there and carry it on for the next week. The next couple are um, kind of random ones. This one is cash that I took out to put on um, a credit card that we use to book um, our hotel in North Carolina. We're going on a trip next week, but we you have to use a credit card for this particular hotel and then also our car so that we're renting. And we had to use a credit card for those because they require that, which is totally fine. So we do have a credit card open that we use for emergencies like that, but we always take out cash to put on that. Um, and then we leave it at home and then after we get back and we get the statement, we go and we pay it. Uh, so that's one way to use a credit card. That's the only time we ever use one though. The next one is our um, savings. We put debt on there a long time ago, I think when we still had credit cards, but now it's a savings envelope. And because we're gonna be moving in the next year, we wanted to start this really small envelope just to um, start saving. We actually had another one that had about uh, almost $2,000 in it. But when we moved, we ended up having a lot more expensive, like we moved for apartments and we had a lot more expenses than we expected. So we ended up using a lot of that money. Um, and so we had to start fresh, which is totally fine. Things happen. All right, so the next envelope we have 
excuse it, it's an old mail envelope, but it's for our laundry. Uh, so we have to go to a laundromat in the house that we're living in currently, but it's literally on the corner of our street, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we usually do $20 every other week, so like $40 a month that we spend on, on laundry. And then I also house it a lot, so uh, we usually end up sometimes being able to just go and do laundry. Like sometimes I babysit too and I'll just bring over a load just to do while I'm there really quickly if like it's just a small load. But um, I just put $20 on our, on our coinless card that we use there, so there's nothing in the envelope at the moment. And then these are two brand new ones I'm about to show you. Because we are going to North Carolina, um, we needed spending money, so we've been saving our North Carolina envelope. Um, I think we have like like a hundred or like two hundred and something dollars in here. Um, we won't need much. We're only there for a few days, and we already have everything else paid for. So this is just strictly spending cash on on food, and we're probably going to put more in there before we leave as well. Um, when we went to Austin, we had an envelope very similar, and we ended up having I think like seventeen hundred dollars. A lot of that was for the hotel, but we were there for a week and a half, so we definitely spent all of that money, and it was really fun. <laughs> all right, so the last envelope we have is because Emmett is um, going to be interviewing for all these, these MBA programs that are pretty prestigious, we wanted to get him a new suit. Um, so we have this envelope. I contributed $200 of my own money for him because... I really wanted him to get something nice, so I think he has about $600 in this envelope, and then we're going to the outlets tomorrow to go find him a suit. We have some really nice outlets in the area, so anything we can do to save on that and get him a nice suit would be great, and we are going next weekend, so it's kind of last minute, but yeah, so that's our other envelope. Um, so yeah, that's basically our envelope systems. You probably are wondering what, where all of our bills are. So the bills, like I said, we do automatic payments on pretty much all of them. So I just keep all that money in my account and then it just gets pulled out automatically and I just keep an eye on it. I check my bank account pretty much every day just to make sure, you know, if nothing weird has gone through or anything. Uh, the other thing that you probably didn't notice is we don't have a rent envelope because we can't pay cash for our rent anyway. So what happens is um, we pay by check and that check comes out of Emmett's bank account. So what I do is I, as soon as I get paid my first paycheck, I put half of my rent payment in my savings account and then the second one I do the same thing, the rest of the half, and then I just transfer that into Emmett's account and then he writes a check and we send it to our landlord. So that's why we don't have a rent envelope. Um, again, if you guys have any questions at all on the envelope system, it's very simple. It keeps you on track. And then when you do go to the grocery store or go shopping or go to Target or the gas pump or whatever it may be, you know how much money you have and then you just use it and it's fantastic and it keeps you on track and once it's gone, it's gone. And then that's just how we, it's just how we do life. And we've gotten really good at, you know, knowing how much we want, knowing how much we have in our envelope and then really sticking to that. Or if we know, like for example, social restaurants, if we only have like a hundred dollars that time, maybe we'll go to lunch twice instead of dinner once or something like that. Or if we have like $200 in an envelope, we'll go like all out and go to a super fancy restaurant and like get a bottle of wine and all that good stuff. So we definitely play with it and it's really, really fun. And we add envelopes and take away envelopes all the time when we're saving for certain things. Pretty soon we need to start a Christmas envelope, which last year I think we started it in October, so we're a little behind schedule. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Please ask any questions you have if I didn't make anything clear or anything like that, and I'll see you next time.